In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Tomorrow is Ash Wednesday. And we did ask this question on Monday. What do we need to do to properly prepare for Lent? And we said that a few things need to be done. And we did pose two questions yesterday. And today I want us to look at some specific areas that we may need to intensify our attention. The first one is prayer. Preparing ourselves to go deep in prayer this Lent. Going deep in prayer this Lent. Growing in prayer. Joining prayer groups. Helping others to deepen their prayer life. So, it must be a time that I must set myself right on the prayer path. Very important. After I have done that, number two, the sacrament of reconciliation, penance. I mean, the, the, the sacrament of confession. Lent is a time of conversion. But I like putting it this way. Conversion is every day. But because you're talking about Lent, then we say that Lent is a time of conversion. The word in Greek is actually metanoia, which means a change of heart. And therefore, the most efficacious means to attain true con conversion of heart is through direct encounter with Jesus the healer. Jesus touches us and heals us in a very special way and in the sacrament. But most especially in the sacrament of holy reconciliation. Before going to confession, we may need to read Luke 15. It is called the parable of God's mercy. The parable of God's mercy. Now, in this masterpiece, we encounter the parable of the lost and found sheep, the lost and found coin, and finally, lost and found son. It is the parable of the merciful father. When we do that, we will go to him knowing that our father is merciful. It is not about what we have done because he never gets ashamed of our sins. It is not about how long we have sunk in sin because for him, that part of historicity is not important. What is important is that we have turned unto him. And that is what we are saying. I know there are those who only go to this sacrament only in Lent. It is okay. And therefore I'm reminding you, if you only go for confession during Lent, then Lent is starting tomorrow. Get yourself prepared. Number three. The, another best way of preparing for Lent is daily Mass. Going for Mass on daily basis. I will recommend, for those of you who can, if you can to attend Mass every day of Lent, the better. If you cannot, please try your best. Again, it defeats all logic. If we can say that we are you know, preparing for conversion, Yet, we are so busy, we have no time for Mass, we have no time for other services. Kabisa, kabisa, we have no time. No. No, please. Remember, time is never enough for anybody on earth. What we do is that we create time. In fact, I like it when one writer talks about recreating time. When we create time and it is not enough, we recreate time. So, we can't say that we are busy. There is no one time that you say that uh, we don't have time to do anything. No. 
Another way as we prepare is acts of charity, acts of love and service. I'm working with the students who are now preparing to build a small house for a deserving old man. So this is not their Lenten activity. It is something they started doing some while ago. So for them, they have been preparing for this, building a house for a certain old man. We need to keep be doing that. And charity work or benevolence or altruism is not something that we only do at one moment. No. It is something that we do all the time. However, it also makes lots of sense. When you're talking about Lent, that we can prepare ourselves by doing that in advance. We talk, not, let's not talk about alms giving, the, only, the thing that we can only do during uh, Lent. No. It is something that we do every other time, such that when we enter into Lent, it will just be a reminder, finally, to remember that there will be no Lent without incorporating our Mother Mary. It is important that with Mother Mary we are well set for conversion because she reminds us of her longing for all of us to be at peace with her son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. I'm not sure you are ready for tomorrow. Let's meet tomorrow, Ash Wednesday, as we reflect on the ashes and what it means that we'll be celebrating tomorrow and now moving forward. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Music